Vario have followed on from their recent success with their dual-faced reversible dress watch by creating a new military watch. It pays homage to the Dirty Dozen, 12 watches commissioned by the British military for use during the Second World War. And they've sent me one to review for you guys. And I'm going to start this video by telling you the five reasons I think this watch stands out from the crowd. No messing around today, we're getting straight into it. And the first thing I want to talk about is this crown, because when I unboxed this watch, I think I actually made this noise. Huh? Because the crown is at the 4.30-ish position. I think you would expect to see it at the 3 o'clock position. It's also partially recessed into that lug. And there's some BGW9 loom on it. That Vario V is loomed. So yeah, that is definitely different. It's a sort of modern take on a classic watch, isn't it? In fact, that is the overall theme for this watch, I think. And that brings me on to the second reason why I think this watch stands out from the crowd. And it is the steel finishing on the case. Um, there's a polished bezel running all the way around the top of the case. And you've also got these beautifully polished chamfered edges on each of the lugs, um, giving the watch a slightly dressier look and feel. And um, yeah, just the overall case shape is very, very nice. But yeah, those high polished surfaces again um, were quite a surprise. Number three is the embossed logo on the dial. Now, traditionally, the Dirty Dozen watches had black dials with a sort of lighter print on them, and they would have had the brand name printed under the 12, um, but Vario are offering this watch in a few, well, unusual dial color options. Um, unusual because, well, like I said, the original watches were just offered with a black dial, but um, yeah, they haven't decided to encroach or I guess in a way take away from the overall look of the watch by having the Vario logo very obviously printed on the dials. So they've cleverly embossed it in there. It's there. It's not that obvious. Um, it's subtle. Number four is, again, something you wouldn't expect to see on a Dirty Dozen homage, and that is a capped minutes hand. Obviously, they've gone with tradition in terms of putting in an automatic movement where the seconds complication is down at the six o'clock. So there's no second hand on the main dial, um, but the minute hand is capped, beautifully finished. Again, following on with that theme that this is, well, a sort of upmarket Dirty Dozen homage. And the final reason I think this watch stands out from the crowd is actually the strap, because I think Vario are known primarily as a quality strap manufacturer or producer, seller. And so the strap that is going to accompany this watch is a really, really good quality sort of corduroy, or I think they call it the Cordura, and very nice hardware. Again, it's signed with Vario um, on the hardware. And um, it is just a very nice quality feeling strap. And um, yeah, they've sent me a few other strap options to show you um, with this watch, which you will see throughout the course of the rest of the video. So yeah, I really was very pleasantly surprised when I unboxed this watch. Um, Dirty Dozen homages are fairly common and they all look very, very similar and very toolish, you know, inspired by the original watches. Um, but Vario have definitely gone down a different route with this watch. And um, it really was a pleasant surprise when I unboxed it. Yeah, I think the changes or the, the way that they've come away from that original set of watches um, is great to see. I like it, definitely. And if you are interested in picking up one of these watches, um, you can pre-order it from the 6th of June. If you sign up to their newsletter, you'll be offered a discount, I believe. That's the only way. Um, you'll get the discount um, if you sign up to their newsletter. And the price for this watch, the normal price, is $368. Um, I think it's a random number because I think the price is actually set um, in the Singapore currency. So, um, yeah, at the moment, it's $368 US minus the discount you'll get if you sign up to their newsletter. So not only have they made a dirty dozen homage that stands out from the crowd, but they've just made a good quality watch with impressive specifications. Sapphire crystal with AR coating, 100 meters of water resistance, screw down crown, screw down case back. There is some um, or there is a picture and some specifications on the case back. I'll show you that. In a moment, 316L stainless steel, beautifully finished case. The brushing is very, very nice. And um, yeah, the polished surfaces seem 
very nicely done the transitions between the two types of finishing also impressive the print on the dial looks very clean and tidy i will test the loom in a moment um, but yeah, just looks like a really nice watch, doesn't it? I am actually very pleasantly surprised with how it looks. I think the crown location makes a massive difference. It really does. I think it modernizes the look of the watch. I mean, I think it is just overall a much more modern looking uh, military watch. Um, but the crown location has actually made, for me anyway, a big difference to how this thing looks. Before I show you the case back, I'll show you the watch on the supplied strap. So this is the style of strap that these watches will come with. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to choose the color. That's normally something that Vario offers. Um, but yeah, the strap suits the watch perfectly, doesn't it? And um, yeah, fantastic looking and fantastically well proportioned. Good sized military watch suits my roughly average sized wrist. And um, yeah, the strap's perfectly comfortable. It's not the softest and most supple military strap I've ever worn, but um, it is a quality strap. So it will soften over time. And um, yeah, you know it's going to last. Right, let me take it off this strap. I'll put it on some other straps and I'll show you the case back in the meantime. So I've swapped it over to their textured Italian leather strap. And um, yeah, that's going to allow us to have a good look at the case back. It's a commemorative case back to essentially commemorate the Battle of Singapore. A key battle during World War II. There are some specifications around the outside of that case back. I'm pleased to see that the flat surface is brushed and um, yeah, the outer edge is polished. That shouldn't be susceptible to scratching too much. Um, but yeah, it's nicely done, isn't it? And um, yeah, this is it on the Italian leather strap. This has to be my favorite Vario strap, funnily enough. And they've actually sent me these three straps to essentially accompany this watch. I guess they feel that these straps and go well with this particular color variation. And I can see why they've chosen this tan leather strap. It sort of goes with the dial, doesn't it? Um, again, makes it a little bit more dressy. And they've definitely gone for a slightly dressier feel or look um, with this military inspired homage. Let me get it on the wrist. And there it is on the Italian leather strap. It's uh, not very traditional for this style of watch, but it definitely goes, doesn't it? Um, yeah, those polished surfaces on the case, just allowing you to perhaps explore slightly dressier straps like this. So yeah, love it. And here it is on the all black single pass nylon strap. Probably the most authentic strap for this style of watch, although... I'm not convinced it goes brilliantly well because you've got a beautiful sort of textured tan or cream dial. And um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's just not my favorite. And here it is on a not so authentic sort of burgundy and cream or tan single pass nylon strap. I prefer the hardware on these straps. Um, it's got sort of square keepers and a much nicer buckle. Again, it's signed. Nicely finished and um, produced hardware on these straps. And um, yeah, I think this one looks better than the all black single pass, doesn't it? Um, that stripe running down the center of the strap sort of blends in or matches the colors used on the dial. So um, yeah, I think this looks pretty good. But um, for me, that Italian leather strap is oh awesome. I love that strap. Right, let's quickly test the loom on the dial and on the hands. It's C3 loom. The loom on the crown is BGW9, but we're more interested in the performance of the loom on the face of the watch. So we'll do the usual test, let the clock run down for five minutes and see how much it degrades. Right, the five minutes are up and unfortunately the loom that's printed directly onto the dial hasn't performed particularly well for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's printed directly onto the dial and not filled into applied indices. So there's not that much of the actual luminescent material. And also it's got a sort of orange pigment to it and that always affects the longevity of the loom. The loom on the hands has actually done all right. And there it is back on the tan Italian leather strap while I wrap up this video. So this is the new Vario 1945 D12 available to order 
on the 6th of June. And again, if you want to benefit from the discount that they're going to offer you, you need to sign up to their newsletter. Final thoughts and opinions on this watch. I do love the fact that they have created a slightly unusual looking Dirty Dozen homage, as you would expect from Vario. You get the usual quality build and finishing and um, yeah, something a little bit different and unusual coming on a quality Cordura strap. Um, the movement, I think, might be a little bit of a sticking point for some people. It has an 8 Series Miyota automatic movement inside it. I can hear the rotor. When it's on my wrist, of course, those movements have a free spinning sort of unidirectional rotor. So it only winds up the movement when the rotor moves in one direction, which means it free spins in the other direction and it can be quite noisy. I can definitely hear it when it's on my wrist, but let's not forget this is a military inspired watch, a tool watch. So, um, yeah, we shouldn't be too precious and delicate about that, I guess. But um, 368 US dollars for this very nicely finished, slightly unusual Dirty Dozen homage containing that movement might put a few people off. Fingers crossed the discount that they're going to offer people that sign up to their newsletter is enough to um, persuade those reluctant to part with $368 to potentially um, support and back this watch because, yeah, I like it. It's nice. It is nice. And I'm sure you guys are going to let me know in the comments section what you think of this watch. Have they done enough to make this watch stand out from the crowd? I really think they have, actually. Um, it's not that obvious at a glance what it is, is it? I like that about it. Definitely. All right, guys, let me know in the comments section. You'll see me again very, very soon.